Creating an elevation view. Here I'm in my first floor plan and I want to go up and create an elevation view. I go up to my view tab and I go to elevation and I choose elevation. Over here my properties type I have an interior elevation by default it's a building uh, elevation. I want to do an exterior building elevation. I move my elevation tag around. Notice it points automatically at walls. I want to do this wall with the, with the door so I pick it so it points at the door. All right. Now I just created one and if I go down into my elevations you'll see I got an elevation 1A. Next let's go up and do an elevation and let's do it on the interior. And, uh, and I can go scroll around and I'm pointing automatically at my cabinetry when I get close to it so I'm going to pick and I'll pick it so that I've created an interior elevation of that. Now Uh, let's take a look at how we set the width of the elevation view. If, if I pick on the elevation marker, I get a blue line. And you can see this is an awful big blue line. You can see it has these drag symbols. And it has dots at the end. This is how long of a view I'm looking at. If I go in my properties, you can see that my crop view and crop region view is on. That allows me to grab a hold of these things and say I only want to see this much of a oop, I'm moving it. I only want to see this much of a view. And I gotta grab a hold of those blue dots to be the drag areas. And I can move it over up close so I can see how close that is. I'll say, alright, I'll pick on this one now. I'll pick on it. And pick on it. And one, I can see it's on the wrong side of the building. So I gotta come over here and drag it, move it to the correct side. Next, I don't have those blue dots. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna turn those on. I'll hit apply. Aha, now I can drag them around here, get them to where I wanna go. Alright, good. Now, let's pick on this one here. Ooh, it's pretty big and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna crop the view hit apply and now I'm gonna drag oop, I'm gonna drag the blue dots and us this time I'm gonna go here and go here and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit I pick on that again you can see I want to have just enough to go past that wall. Alright, and let's take a look at this one. Ooh, a little big. So it doesn't have the blue dots. Let's go down and get them. Alright, now let's bring those in a little bit. Now I created this one right here. And you can see it has those blue dots. I'm going to move those and I want to have them to go just past the wall and you can see this is the depth of how far this thing is going. I'm going to bring it back and I just want to see just past the door here and I just want to go up to the wall here. Alright, and there we go. So now we've set our clip planes and we're all set to go on where, where we want to see those. Uh, we might want to rename these things. So this one here, I got, uh, you know, this one is uh, coming from uh, the east, and uh, I might say, I can, oop, uh, let's go back to where I was here. All right, so I'll come over here, and I'm going to say, hey, you know. I can highlight this and go to my properties and I can change the name and I might want to go to something like uh, you know the uh, oh, let's go with a, an east elevation door or something like that right east elevation and I'll just put a dash door for right now 
All right, so I can hit apply, so I can rename these things. Um, and you'll see that I have a couple of ways that I can open up these uh, particular elevations. One, I can double click down here in my browser and just double click on the east elevation. There's my east. Double click on my north. Double click on my south. Double click on my west. And let's take a look at the new one I made. And here's one of the doors. Okay. Notice how I do see the wall on the right side uh, looking at me. Now let's go down and I got interior elevations. And I got elevation. And I might want to change the name of that, you know. Um, I got uh, 2A, that doesn't mean much. But I might want to say kitchen. Elevation. And uh, get rid of that 2A. And I might even want to say east, west, etc. But for now. All right. And I'll double click on that kitchen elevation. And there's my kitchen elevation. So I'll go back to my first floor plan at this point. I also can double click on any one of these particular uh, tags. So if I double click on it, there's my elevation. So that's the second method of doing it. Uh, another one is I can pick on it, right click, and I can say go to elevation view. And that'll get me there as well. So I have a variety of ways, like three different ways in which we can open an elevation view. I can also change my parameters of these things by going in here and I can set my property parameters. I can change the scale of this thing, whether it's coarse or normal. Uh, I can, you know, change my colors, etc. So there's a, a bunch of things we can set in here. But for the most part, the name and the scales are our most important. Commercial typically will go an eighth inch equals a foot. The residential, quarter inch equals a foot. So uh, we have just went through uh, creating an elevation view. And we can create interior elevations and building elevations. So uh, in the old days in AutoCAD, to create one elevation, might take 40 hours and we just saw we create them in under a couple of minutes so isn't that the beauty of Revit